Why is there such perceived visceral hatred between the two parties, or is this just how it is portrayed in the news? by our illustrious media. I think that it's, the media sets out to stir up conflict. Uh, I think that a lot of times it's trying to get the news out, wanting to sensationalize the stories. And so I believe that it's probably a lot due to the media. However, I think that it's also within the parties. Unfortunately, in all of aspects of our lives, we are against the, the problem of agreeing or disagreeing with our fellow people. In our businesses, our organizations, our churches, whatever, it just seems that there is always going to, there will always be differences of opinion. And I think that mostly we need to make sure that we can respect other people and make sure that we allow some disagreement. You know, we don't always have to go with the mantra that it's my way or the highway. And granted, I do try to do that because I think I believe that I'm right, and you should agree with me. However, that is, uh, that is not the case. I just read the quote this morning, and hopefully I can repeat it. But it said, you know, in non-essentials unity, in essentials... Um, oh dear, see, I've already forgotten it. But anyway, <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have brought that up. Anyway, I think the point of it is that we need to make sure that we are tolerant of other views and that we try to cohabitate. 